Hi, my name is Mark. And in the last videos, we talked about the DNA of your organization and the trends that are going to have an impact on your company. Now it's time to paint a very clear picture of where we want to be in a couple years time. And it's the most fun part of the entire outlook process. Let's start by determining how far we want to be looking into that future. For some companies, the world moves rather slow and the company themselves don't move that fast either. In these cases, it's possible to look maybe five or even seven years ahead. For other companies, like Startup for example, the world moves really fast. So fast even that it might be hard to look two years or maybe one year into the future of your company. We grow about 20% year on year and we expect this to accelerate in the upcoming period. The communication market is a really fast moving market for us. So looking three years ahead is a solid ground to start from. Now that we have defined the period which we're going to look at, it's time to fine line the details. To do this, we split the three year picture into four main segments. What are we going to do? Where are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? And what are the conditions that apply? It's something we call the why. We often call the three year question a dream question. In a perfect world, if, and if you close your eyes, where will the company be in three years time? What will it be doing? What has changed? And how is it interacting with the world? The what question is about your product or your service. Imagine it being perfect. What does it do, but also what doesn't it do? That's what the what question is about. And the more concrete you can make it, the better it's going to be. For us, the where question often contains new countries we want to operate in, since we are expanding to international markets. It also contains the type of markets we are addressing. Do you work for consumers, corporates or SMEs? And if you're working for SMEs, how big are they? Uh, what are the characteristics they share? And uh, the more concrete you can make this, the better it will be. The third part of the three-year picture is the how. The how has multiple components to it. How are you delivering your product or service? Do you have a central office? Do you work completely remote? Do you support your customers by a telephone? Or do you have physical appointments? All these questions are going to be in the how. Again, the more detail in there, the more concrete it becomes, the more visible it becomes, and the more easier it's going to become to get there. The final segment of the three-year picture is the wow part. The wow contains the conditions and the constraints. An example for our organization is while being part of society and not causing any unnecessary harm. When we are working on a three year picture, we ask about eight people to write it down in as much detail as possible. You'll often find a huge overlap and this overlap makes it into one story. The more detailed the story, the better. The reasoning behind that is very, very simple. If you know where you want to go, the only thing you have to do is plan a route to get there. If you get stuck while writing this story, look at your purpose, your DNA, but also at the trends. What also helps is focusing on what you don't want to become. You'll see that some of your colleagues only write down one sentence while others write an entire story. Both are completely fine because both will help you get closer to the core. I recently looked at the picture we had written down as an organization three years ago. And it's incredible how close we have come while making small adjustments along the way. Now that you have a very clear picture on where you want to go, you can start looking at actions or drivers that give you a really strong push forwards. We call these actions key thrust. To get your key thrusts, you can ask six to eight people to see where they see really big steps you could take that could really help. Examples of key thrusts are launch in X countries or build this new product or service or set up a new office in country X. They are very big projects which might take years to finish, but will help you get closer to your three year goal or five year picture. Now that we know exactly where we want to be in three years time, and we know which things we can do that give us a really big push forward, it's time to make this measurable. But metrics and KPIs are a completely different ballgame. So we'll talk about that in the next video. 
I wish you good luck with figuring this all out. And see you next time. Cheers.